All right, sweet. It's morning time. This is my second on the John video. I figured uh, this subject would be a good subject to talk about in the morning while I'm taking a shit. Don't worry. I've got, I've got a shirt over my dick. All right, check it out. Do you, you, if you're of a certain age, in your late 30s or 40s or older, and you were ever using the internet in online chat groups back in the 90s when the internet first started out, and chat rooms where you could talk to people from all across the world were very popular among those people back then. And I would have been in my, you know, early teens, into my teens, and I remember getting on there talking smack, just talking shit, trying to get a response from whoever, you know what I mean? Talking shit to people, because, you know, they don't know who you are, you can have any chat name you want. Well, that was entertaining, I'd do that stuff for hours when I was bored, right? Get on AOL or whatever it was, and just get in an online chat group, and there was hundreds of them, right? Let me show you how many people are in there in the group, join that group, you know, they'd have certain names of, of what, what the topic matter at hand might be discussed and you join there and you just talk about whatever. So that was stimulating, just that, just texting, right? Well, now the, the, the topic of discussion in this video is attention. Wanted to get some sort of attention or wanted to get some sort of, you know, response from someone, um, well, growing up today, I couldn't imagine what it would be like if I was an early teenager and I had access to a multitude of things like Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all this stuff. I've never used Twitter. I've never used TikTok. I've never used Instagram. I've used Facebook and YouTube. But if I was in that age now, you know, young teenager wanted to get some attention, I, I would I would imagine it would be an overwhelming amount of stimulation, you know, at your fingertips. Possibly um, enough to, you know, ruin your life or uh, at least uh, keep you entertained, you know, well into your late 20s, early 30s, you know, before you <laughs> even start realizing what, what life is all about. Well, <clears throat> traditionally, a monogamous relationship, a wife, you know, a companion for life. You don't have to get married. You know, I had to get married uh, when I found the girl I wanted to be with just because I'm living in China and it's much easier to get for my visa. You know, if I didn't get married, I'd have to fly out of here every 60 days and then fly back because I was on a tourist visa. So, you know, if it's convenient for you to get married, if you want to get married, it's traditional, you know, it's good It's good to have that person that's you're going to be your companion for life. Like, when you're certain that, you know, you're meeting someone that's never going to leave you and, and be with you for the rest of your life because they need you and you need them, well, for, for men, that's the happiest day of their lives. And then, unfortunately, a lot of men have... Uh, lost their wives for this reason or not and so you know, women lose their husbands as well but it's um you 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 don't and I'm making the point now you don't need that attention any longer you don't need to do something or say something that is polarizing or um what's the best what's the better word that is um there's another word not extravagant it's uh it's not on the tip of my tongue but you don't need to you don't need to say something you, you don't need to be making videos and shorts and trying to do something that is you know might be entertaining for someone or interesting no matter no matter you don't need to be doing this stuff anymore if you have someone in your life 
that will give you their full undivided attention whenever, whenever you need it. If you have a companion, if that's what you want to call them, or you know, your partner, or your wife, or whoever it is. If you have someone other than your parents or a close sibling, you know, if you have that, sure, you know, you can, you can probably get your mother's undivided attention anytime you want. Most people, but how much, how much longer in your life do you, do you want to be going to her, right? If you have that, well, you need, you need that. You need that. You always needed that. Um, that's the beginning of time, you know, this, uh, this attempt by the church to split apart societies, you know, split apart the men and the women. You know, women fall, are, are more easily manipulated and will fall for this stuff. And if you get a hold of the women or change how they're treating the men in the society, well, the men just don't stand a chance. The whole society is going to go to shit. So it's very, very easy to do that now with all the mass media and internet content that's that's online now I mean getting likes and getting shared and people agreeing with you um, that's a whole lot of stimulation on your computer screen uh, when you're doing messages or videos or whatever it is well you don't need that you don't need to seek that type of uh, that type of a uh, you know it's, a, it's an addictive it's an addictive behavior to be spending a lot of time on, on your computer looking for, you know, thumbs up and view counts, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you can, you can monetize stuff and, and be very successful, you know, putting out content on, on something like uh, YouTube, but, um, you, you need a companion. I mean, it's, that's one of the first things ever, ever said, you know, God created man and then he created them companions, women. Whether you believe it or not, you need that.